Oops. Oh, did you start? Yeah. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Half Life. I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Half Life. Was that one better? Yes, it was fine. All right. Um, so I I double checked. We are we've missed two G-Man sightings. You know when we're fighting the Gargantua? Mm-hmm. He was the Gargantua the entire time. So if you watch, he's That's what G that's what G stands for. It stands for government. Um, if you watch in the background, he's standing on the thing behind their Gargantua. And he watches us walk in, encounter the monster, straightens his tie, and he walks out. Rubbing his hands menacingly. Alright, don't hurt yourself. Menacingly. Help. There's no help for you, I'm sorry. No, wait, try it. Menacingly? Mena menacingly. <laughs> that was real close. All of my work to preserve my hit points. Um. So yeah, we've missed only a few genes. Um. And then also he's standing across from us in the big walnut smashing room. We can uh, just add like a little animation later, like of a stick figure straightening his tie. Artist rendition. Note: Artist is a jackass. <laughs> For whatever reason, G-Man's like he did he did he did he. I have no idea what the fuck. Should have taken a break. I've forgotten what I, what to do, where I am, or what to do. Go down there. Yeah. You can do it. I don't think I can. Oh. Yeah, I'm not making any headway. I might be getting invisible walled. But that's okay. Hey, okay, down. The flame. Three. Balls. What a... What'd you do there? Don't worry about it. I turned on no clip, but I forgot that I had, hadn't turned on cheats again because I always forget. Oh, you need to go to that one. To this Above one? Above the door. No. The door. That one? Go to there. Okay. And then maybe, oh, it is taking you here. Um, let's just go through it. Yeah. Anyway, one of the game's plot twists is coming up. Which is what I meant when you asked, is anything good coming up? Yes, one of the game's biggest plot twists is well on its way. Go, go, go. And there. Is this the same place? Okay, go there. I think this is yeah. a different place. Oh my god, it is. I'm a stupid moron idiot. And then there. On that conveyor belt. Yeah, you're totally right. Yipes. You let fear stop you. I think fear of being exploderized is a pretty rational fear as they go. If guns could bark, that's what that gun would sound like. If guns could bark like a dog? Yeah, it I don't know if it's just the echo in my in my headphones, but it it kind of sounds like a a doggo. 
You're not even wrong. <laughs> like, spow, spow, spow. Go, Gordon. Oh, ow. What's up, dear? Uh, go down to that one. Go down to the next one. Oh. Sorry, I'm just looking around here. Hey, you're right. There's nothing down here for me. You can go to that one. Okay. The next one, and then get off on the second one. Okay. Yep. There you go. God, the, the conveyor belt is so black, it doesn't even, like, allow light to escape. It's just fucking black. Wait, this, this has to be a loop, right? We've looped here. Be there. This is something, right? Yeah, you just have to get rid of that, whatever that is. You know what? It's a, it's a, it's a fair cop. You know, if you see resistance, Ooh. god damn it! If you see resistance, you're probably on the right track. Tales all this time, you know. Could, could. Are you, okay, Are you really trying to get three health back? Yes. I am trying to get three health back. That was a bad idea. Why did I save here? What the fuck? Oh good, high radiation area. Oh god. You can get down there. Of all the things to not stick your wiener in, that's a big one, I've gotta say. Oh Jesus. What the hell? I think you got chomped a little. Yeah, you're doing the timing wrong. No, it's not that I'm getting chomped. I'm just taking damage there now for some reason. Fall damage? Yeah, I'm taking fall damage. Or maybe you had a duck and your head was still peeking out, maybe. so like, you got... Questionable Ethics is the name of this one. Jesus. Phew. So if you look, what are these, babe? Gauges. Yeah. Looks like someone has some questionable ethics. Questionable ethics, indeed. Should name the chapter that or something. Nice. Go, Gordon. All right. Topped off. Any calls on the plot twist, babe? Ugh. So you can see that this guy's another inhabitant of Zen, and he's also got the center thing, but you may notice one of his arms is fucked up. I mean, I'm gonna assume that this, uh, what's the corporation called? This is a Black Mesa. We're a government project. They are. I assume that Black Mesa is using aliens to do something. Experimenting on aliens. Feeding people to aliens. Good guess. 
Yes. Well, part of the twist is that they've been doing it for like months. Man, only months? You said Black Mesa is the lawful one or not? Yeah, they're the lawful one. Really shouldn't mess with things you don't understand, guys. Tale as old as time, you know? At least not things like that. Now I have the gun. How was that? Hey, it's no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find whatever. I love the feeling of reclaiming your arsenal. That's one of that's one of the best feelings in in like action games. Yeah, you know. The feeling of like, oh shit, I'm fucking back, you know? What what which Silent Hill tried to do that and completely failed? Was it um <laughs> Downcoming? Fuck. It was either downpour or homecoming. It definitely was. What specifically are you referring to? Where you, like, drop off your weapons or something, but it doesn't really matter because you get them right back? I can't quite remember it. Yeah, so there's those, like, little scales at the end of Downpour? Downpour. That's the one with the convict, right? Uh, yes, yes. The escape convict. Yeah. Um, and I want to say that this... Shit! Shit! I want to say that there's a similar thing also at the end of Homecoming, but do you know why? Why? Why do both of those American-made Silent Hill games have that same thing in them? Made by the same people? No, you know why. There's a, there's a much easier Silent Hill-specific reason. To try and make it scary? To try to make it something. Make you feel helpless? No, it is It is a very shallow reason. Trying to make it feel like the other games? Yep. It's because you have to put your things on the elevator at the end of Silent Hill 2 to get into the basement. Yep. Can you... Is this, is this you? Do you do this? We tend to, like, um, talk about other games while playing games, and I feel like it's some form of emotional cheating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little bit, you know? Right, like, if here. we were playing Silent Hill 2, we'd be talking about Half-Life. You got a point. Hey, dickhead, you want to warn me before you open up the fucking monster cages? I mean, he might have warned me. You think you got it by now? Didn't listen, but... Yeah, one thing that I really like is that... So check this out. What is that? <gasps> what the fuck? That's a nest. Oh my god. Wait, where did you put that thing? It's a weapon, Sarah. Look. It's a weapon? These are called snarks. How do you use it? Uh, they're very dangerous to the user, so I will hold off on using them for a bit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, they're really cute for some reason. Again, this is that weird knack that Valve has sometimes when they, like... Like, how the head crabs are kind of cute. Even in Half-Life 2 that I, I just played, like, most of the head crabs are cute. Shoot it. It sadly does not work. Darn. Yeah, snarks. Remember what you said earlier about following where, following where the action is? 
Yes. Unfortunately, most things are dead. Remember where that guy went? Oh, well, this is new. This is new. And there's mines. Nice. That's how you know God's on your side, you know? Nice. Here he is. Here they both Here are. Here they are. And you can actually hear that now we've, we're getting in fighting. All right. The military is now fighting the space military. Because let's be honest here, it's very transparent that that's what the fuck these things are. We've also blown open this thing. I just wanted to get rid of that. I might rewatch Freeman's Mind. I actually still need to catch up on Freeman's Mind too. I didn't know he was doing it. So yeah, they've been fucking keeping aliens here for at least months now. So yeah, that's the twist. Now the door opens. Jeez, man. I want to get to this point in Freeman's mind. <laughs> Me I want to hear what he has to say. Right? It, it's, it's so... Oh, we're getting more infighting. It's just such this pure piece of media of like, you know what? Yes. I do want to hear what Gordon Freeman has to say, finally. So you may notice that we're uh, a lot of laser testing here. Wait, that doesn't explode when I shoot it. There we go. Oh, this voice acting is so good. I understand so, why they didn't uh, give Freeman a voice actor now. You know, multiple reasons, but one of them being that they don't have someone good enough for him. Yep. So, this is that thing that we uh, heard them arguing about. Nice. It's, uh... This is your BFG. This is... Unlimited power. This is your problem solver. Did we play Doom for the channel, or was that just us? Uh, that was just us. It was on the PS4. God, that was so fucking fun. We can go play Doom again. Like, I'm not going to turn down the chance to play more Doom. I'm so down. Except this for... This is what I'm talking about. We're cheating again, Alfred. We're cheating. <laughs> well, to be fair... Did you hear that? That was so cute. What? Their little... With, um... With Doom and Half-Life, you're kind of expected to talk about Doom with Half-Life. Because I mentioned that part of the impetus for this game was how uh, Gabe Newell saw how, like, Doom could be, like, super scary. But there, it, it very quickly becomes this, like, you know, goofy, wacky fun times. Sorry, I just realized there's a little... There we go. It very quickly becomes goofy, wacky, fun times. Oops. And like, if they wanted to play it super like serious and scary, they easily could. And yet they just don't do that, you know? Right. 
And so Gabe Newell wanted a game where you can play with the idea of like, hey, this is a horrible thing that requires a lot of government, like, villainy, a lot of oversight, a lack of very specific types of oversight. Well, that was stupid. Should I just aim for these things? No. What am I doing wrong here? There we go. Okay. Um, and they were like, yeah, what if that was just the case? If it was just that fucking scary the whole time. Can we talk about how needlessly spiky and villainous these things look? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the headcrab room. Of course. Talk about how good that fucking health suck sound is. I love it so much. You guys are just squatted up in here, huh? I don't suppose you reconsider. Yeah, I think that's the rare like fourth uh, type of scientist model that you can see. And to diversify somehow. Yeah. This guy's a white guy, but with black hair, and he's kind of balding. I can't believe that one of these fucking scientist models is just, like, actually fucking... What does this button do? Uh-oh. Uh, dude. <clears throat> Look, let me just say whoops. Oh, here he is. Or no, I think that's him. You have a favorite scientist model, dear? Mm. I think it's Einstein. That's fair. Man. Okay, so am I supposed to get these scientists all the way up here? Because if that's the case, I'm going to be put out. I think I am. Oh, Christ. Okay. You with me? Okay. Oh yeah, another thing that I will mention, um, Half-Life has notoriously had a lot of problems with voice actors. Mm -hmm. Not for any, like, lack of talent, but they, they always want more voice actors than they get. Poor guys. Um... And, you know, there's a lot of reasons associated with that. Like, um, in Half-Life 2, they only have one male and one female voice actor for generic NPCs. And what they wanted was, like, at least one of every, like, commonly spoken accent in English. Do they just not have the budget? I don't know. I don't think that's the case. Because they have, like, a lot of money. Like, post-Half-Life, Valve ruled the fucking world of PC gaming. Here we go. Okay. Now, this had better be right. 
This had better be good. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Is this is this you? Did you? There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. It's just one of these awful doors. But yeah, they wanted, like, every single accent. And they just, like, Jesus. That's a little extreme. Uh, and they just only have one accent of each. Like, sex. And also in, you know, Half-Life 1, you can see that, like, every scientist, no matter what, same voice actor. All right, service tension. A lot of people actually love this level. I can see why. An entire army, or a one physicky boy. You blew your old guy up. <laughs> Did you see that thing lift off? <laughs> Shit.com. Wow, this is quite the overture, huh? Uh-oh. Alright, I managed it. Cool. Let's do a hard save. So yeah, um, check it. Big hydroelectric dam and an ominous black helicopter. As you do. So if we want, we can just hop in. And you can see that somebody already has. Man. Whoa! One moment, everyone. Hey, we're back. Not that you would have noticed. It's not your business anyway, but because I'm a nice guy, I'll let you know my wife's sundowning. But she got more juice, so she's okay. Like, literal juice. Yes. She has a glass of... What are you drinking? I am drinking strawberry lemonade. Ooh, nice. I love artificial strawberry flavoring. Me too. Like, strawberry milk is really good, strawberry lemonade, strawberry cake. My Alfie's little strawberry cheeks. That's a different kind of strawberry. That's all natural, it's not artificial. <laughs> You're right. That's what makes it even better. I have such little health to be getting on here, but I need to do this. Like... Uh, do you have a grenade? Is it this? Those are all the things I've put in, yes. Is there supposed to be a space here? 
Jesus. I'm a failure of a PC gamer. Why don't you just wait it out? Well, why don't we observe here? I could also just go in, like, fresh from here. That might be cool. Oh, it's like the cat cafe. Yeah. What the hell? All right, I guess this is the best one. Yeah, next time you're in an airlock, just think. It's a it's a load zone. <laughs> he didn't even have a chance. He deserved it. I want you to know that, like... My brain kind of like fogged out when you said the phrase, I'm a nice guy, because like it totally doesn't fit with your personality at all. The phrase nice guy. That makes sense. Not that you aren't a swell feller. All right, You're focusing in hard, huh? Yeah. I love how it goes up and then it goes down. Oh. They're dead. You did it. I did do it. Let's save that then, eh? I've noticed you've caught on to my habit of using the phrase A. Eh. Or maybe you just watch Canadians too much. It's true, I do watch a couple Canadians. What does this fucking copper do? Chop. The gully gully. He shells the shit out of the bridge. And he goes over there. Am I doing this shit wrong? I would say wait it out, babe, and watch the the half I am. of the I'm a fucking idiot. I forgot about this. You could just that's go, go, really go. funny. Go go go. go. Okay. It. I've got it though. Other side maybe? Other side's a pit. I don't know if you know oh. how dams work. But only how one side works? has water. Oh, I see. We'll try it your way. Hey. <laughs> so you can actually see that somebody, in fact, has already tried, which is one of those wonderful things I love about video games where it's like, how do we show the player that this will fucking kill him? Well, we'll put a guy there. Wait, there was a guy? I didn't see him. Yeah, there's a <gasps> scientist's corpse at the bottom of there. He tried. He did try. This is really a part of the game where everything is trying to fucking kill you. Yeah, like... There's a bridge over there, I think. A bridge... Right there? I lied. My you bad. Did. It's okay, I should remember this better, considering I'm a huge fucking Half-Life fan. Can you fuck off, dude? Oh no, you sound like Dylan. Alright, watch, look. There's a guy, there he is, there he is! I love that. Yeah, very easy point to the player, just like, hey, don't go this way. No? Come on, fish. Give me one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to fish. Can 
Can we fuck off, though? For real? Keith, everything is trying to kill you. Yeah, like... All the species of Zen that like eating each other still all like eating me together or separately. The helicopter is trying to kill you. The fish is trying to kill you. CO2 is trying to kill you. Yes! I like helicopter. Did I say helicopter? You certainly did. Oh. I don't have the health to tank that. <laughs> That's fine. I would kill the start by killing the fish. Yeah. Let's start by finding the fish. There he is. So this is another thing that I really like about Half-Life. But all of ah! the... Alright. No, you're showing everyone your tabs. And you haven't updated Chrome yet. Shut up. I'm only showing you my tabs. Oh. <laughs> Should I not have said anything? Yep. But it's okay. My bad. It's underscore. Wait, is the recording still going? Yeah. You have God mode on? Yeah. Take that, are you just trying to bones. get revenge right now? What's up? Are you trying to get revenge right now or are you going to play the game like this? <laughs> I'm just doing a little revenge. But then after you get revenge. After I complete the objective, I will go back to being a mortal man because I've just had it up to here with this fucking helicopter. Oh, was that open all along? Yeah. Why didn't you go in here? Mm. Crowbar is a staggeringly effective weapon against the Ichthyosaur, as I'm finding out. My love. Yes, dear. Can you get it to where I don't see your tabs? You're right. Thank you. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. We're good. Man. Now I wonder if there is any other channel where someone can see, like, my thoughts occur in real time. The what occur? Like, my thoughts and memories. Just where you can see my brain connect and be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to go here, right. I see. What are you doing now? Getting lost. Don't you have to go through? I have no idea. Try going through the, the thing. God, you just get chewed up by this fucking thing as well. I was saying, did you try and go go through the um, thing where you have to turn the handle? Found a bug. What's the bug? Uh, did you see that, dear? No. I beat the fucking ichthyosaur to oh, death uh by standing on its head and beating it to death. Oh, I thought you still had God mode on. No.
the save is after I took it off, and I just happened to find a bug. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it is. You're right. I love helping game... you with video games. What's up, babe? I said I love helping you with video games. I love being helped. This might be a weird question to ask, but are there any games about the Vietnam War? Where you um, play as the Viet Cong? Viet what? The Viet Cong. What is that? The enemy combatants in the Vietnam War. Is that the, the typical name for them? Yeah, they're called Viet Cong. Oh. No, I do not know of it. Because, like, I know that there's probably, like, a Battlefield or a Call of Duty that's set during or around it. And, like, maybe in multiplayer. But, like... Is there one where the story mode is against the Viet Cong? Because that might be kind of interesting. Because I was just doing that where I was, like... Man, I... I I am afraid of this big, scary fucking helicopter, you know? There's a literal game uh, called Viet Cong. Do you play as the Viet Cong? Mm. Jesus Christ. It was a 2003 tactical first-person shooter. Mm-hmm. Uh. You do not play the Viet Cong. Oh, well, there you go. Might be a cool idea, you know? Because in every fucking thing that America makes, Americans are always just like the superheroes saving the world. And like... Playing as the enemy in a lot of shooters is, like, kind of problematic because, like, you know what? No, I don't think that there should be a first-person shooter video game where Nazis are the main characters. I think that would be an awful idea, in fact. Yeah, I mean, not to get into politics stuff, but a lot of people who are part of the Viet Cong probably, you know, not bad guys. I mean, Christ, they were just fucking farmers trying to fend off like alien invaders with superior and like superior military not intelligence but military like history I guess see I don't know how true that is either you know I mean I'm pretty sure that the Americans just were in more wars than the like than the Vietnamese of that era Vietnamese people I should say yeah. um cause like With, like, Germany, like, yes, they had been in two world wars, but one of the world wars caused a complete restructuring of Germany, and so it wasn't really that Germany that was in both world wars, you know? See, I don't know how much I should say about the Vietnam War, because I don't really know a whole lot about it. You fucker. That doesn't count, I was on base. They really do just like poke their head in this fucking building and they're like, Hey, what's going on? Anyway, that's my spicy opinion for the day. Oh man, so I'm looking up like who, and I say in quotations, won the Vietnam War. Cause like, you know, I don't think anybody fucking won the Vietnam War. And and the first thing that said is says, the United States did not lose, they left. And I'm like, oh my god. I think they lost, guys. I think, I think they these lost. I think these heroic think farmers managed to stave off, like, American imperialism 
and should be know. remembered for it. I don't know how um, good it would be to just say farmers, because like, I don't know. It makes it makes the people seem like less. I mean, less. a lot of them were literally just farmers who were like, well. There's a bunch of soldiers on my fields now. I guess I need to find some way to, like, defend my home, you know? Yeah, I guess so. Like, because cause that's the thing about Americans. Like, when you say an American in a war, they're a soldier because Americans go to war. Very few wars are actually fought on American soil. There, in fact, have only been, like, three of the 12 or so we've been involved in. Honestly, the counting is a little weird. Um... But with Vietnam, like, the U.S. just showed up and were like, all right, we're just going to start shooting people now. And, and so all the citizens and civilians of Vietnam were like, okay, I guess we're soldiers now because we're being shot at by enemy soldiers. I think this is one of those things where I say the governments won on, like, both sides and the people lost, you know? That's also valid. I have a very big, like, uh, what do you say, cynicism or something like that? Cynicism. I'm very, cyn I'm very cynical to the U.S. government. Um, yeah. Currently, very, very um, much, but, yeah. Though I hesitate to call, like, the entirety of the type of people farmers, but then again, like I said, I just don't know that much about Vietnam, so. Also fair. Where am I going? You have to turn that lever, kid. I thought I did. You did? Yeah, and when I hit it, it doesn't do anything. Indicating I must have turned it. Maybe I double back? It says hatch, doesn't it? Storm drain hatch. Oh, this thing points say? to... They're shooting crabs at you now. Yeah, that's the storm drain. For God's sakes. I wonder if people are going to be mad that I talked about the Vietnam War and how full of shit the United States Army is. I lost a subscriber. I lost two subscribers, in fact, over posting a video about Homestuck on Homestuck Day, so... Who knows? Okay, not there. Not there either. See, that's the thing, right? You gotta go through a minefield, but you can try as many times as you want. Why even bother, like, going about it carefully? To save your frustration. Hmm? What'd you say, babe? I said to save your frustration. Nah. So they do this sequence again in Half-Life 2 as well. Worth mentioning. Maybe there you is get a, a sequence. A decoy going. What's up, babe? A decoy going? What? Decoy. A decoy what? Like a grenade or something? Uh... I have the Starks, but I don't want to hurt them. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. But I can't see where the helicopter is. Well, that's not good. Just fuck this goddamn helicopter, okay? Now, 
like... I know it's cool that they have a, a fucking helicopter up and running and it works and it shoots and it fights and stuff. But like, I am so goddamn upset and fed up and done with this goddamn helicopter. All right. Now let it be known, you do get to kill this helicopter. And you get this really nice view. Look at this, like... My moment, dog. Look at this, like, really cool shot of a jet. And this really interesting mix of... Really, dude? It's good to know that one will kill it. Would you say Half-Life is a hard game? It can be. Haha! -ha. You got him! Man has defeated machine. Unfortunately, it is also lost to man. That's not the move. There we go. Oh shit. So you know why it's called Black Mesa? Well, look. Why? This is, this is the this is the Mesa. I'm not sure I follow. Do you know what a Mesa is, dear? Isn't it like a geographical thing? Yeah, it's like a mountain, but it is not. It's not pointing on the top. Like it's like flat on the top, right? Yeah, like these things. Yeah. So it stands to reason that these things are similar to this thing that we have our back against. I see. Part of, you know, the building is built into that thing. Hence, Black Mesa. Where's the, there you are. <sighs> Sorry, I'm eating up all your time. No, you're good. I'm just, I'm doing, I'm doing a big old sleepy. What the hell? Major fraction what is the way that I'm supposed to do this? Minor fracture that was a pretty good way. This is how I say hello. There we go. Nice. That's the big boy. So you can see that the big fucking guns go on number four. Good. And now we can put a stop to the crimes of black helicopters. more of a green color. Military helicopters especially. Jesus, that was stupid. Especially things that are used for covert operations are usually painted black or a way darker green than normal. Mm. And when somebody... That was just Emperor's new groom like. Fuck this fucking helicopter, okay? Just fuck this goddamn helicopter. 
I love the silent just turn on god mode. Yeah. Suck my fucking dick. It even blows up like the Death Star. God. Fuck this goddamn helicopter. You love to see it. All right. <laughs> All right. I should take this big whammy gun off. And I should make a hard save. And then I can continue on with my stupid life. Look. I would forgive Gabe Newell for that awful fucking helicopter. Okay, I literally played Half-Life 2 earlier today, and like the helicopter sequence in that is so much better. And like... Ugh, sorry, focusing on hardcore on these fucking platforms. The helicopter sequence is way better in Half-Life 2, like everything. Oh, they sound kind of cute. Yeah, they have a little screech. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> a very distant boy. There's a, something very comedic, comedic about like a sudden close up. Yeah. Especially when it's something like that. Is there something good coming up? I mean, uh, the whole thing's good, but like, is there something real good coming up? Uh, this thing fucking got me stuck here, so I guess I have to no clip through here. Okay. Uh, actually, we can put it... We can pause this episode if you like. Oh, yeah. I'm getting sleepy. Mm-hmm. Well, today we uh, did some more stuff, fought some more guys, and finally killed that helicopter with the help from, you know, God. Uh, and so it's important to remember to read your Bible, and you too will become invulnerable to all forms of attack. Uh, Sarah, do you want to do the okay. outro? Uh -huh. I've been Sarah. I've been Alfred. And, uh, this has been Half-Life. It has been Half-Life. Everyone have a good day. Bye. Bye.